Only the champions assure their authority on Africa with the 10th star and with a dramatic scenario they are trying to assure their authority on the Egyptian league by winning it for the 43th time this season. I'm Yumna Atwa and you are watching Al Ahli Online TV English News getting you an in-depth view of Al Ahli for this week. So let's start with the headlines. The 10th is home. We are the champions of Africa for the second straight year and for the 10th time in our history. Al Ahli held to a draw against National Bank. Petsu Musimani, we will fight for the league title. The Red Eagles complete sensational comeback to be in Integral Harbi. Musimani, we have a team of brave warriors. The Red Eagles secure the prestigious title after defeating South Africa's Kaiser Chiefs 3-0 on Saturday night at Mohammed V Stadium in Casablanca. Three second-half goals from Mohammed Sharif, Mohammed Magdi Afshir and Mamre Sulaya guided us to the 10th title in our history. Such victory extended our record as the most successful club in the competitions with a total of 10 titles, five titles ahead of TB Mizambe and Zamalek. Al Ahli were held to a 1 to 1 draw against National Bank on Thursday night at Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium in a game postponed from week 25 of the Egyptian Premier League. Afshi broke the deadlock in the 47th minute from a brilliant curve shot that found the back of the net. We kept searching for the second goal, but we lacked sharpness in front of the goal. Despite having the upper hand in the game, Karim Bambo's header equalized the score for National Bank five minutes before full time. Patsy Musimani Alahli's head coach reflected on the team's one to one draw with National Bank on Thursday in the Egyptian Premier League, saying that we will fight for the league title. We have mistakes and we have to correct them. We do not play well and I'm disappointed with my team and myself. If I want to find an easy way out, I will say absence, but I'm not the type of coach who looks for excuses. We knew from the beginning that we will miss players. We have to support the country. It's not a FIFA tournament and you cannot say no. Just at the European clubs that say no. Al Ahli pulled off an impressive comeback at Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium against Al Integral Harbi in a game postponed from match day 24 of the Egyptian Premier League. Thanks to two late goals from Hussein Shahat and Walter Bualia, the Red Eagles secure 3 2 victory over Al Integral Harbi, achieving a precious three points after a combative game. Patsy Musumani Al Ahli's head coach reflected on the team's 3 2 victory over Al Integral Harbi on Sunday in the Egyptian Premier League that the game was interesting. There are a lot of things that I have learned and seen tonight. Never say the game is over until the final whistle. What happened today shows that we are able to come back and win the game in the final minutes. That game has showed me something that we have a team of brave warriors. Our players fought tonight despite the difficult conditions of the game. We played with four strikers and I substituted all defenders because we were searching for the victory. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News from Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium. I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.